We interact with water in so many different ways. But did you ever wonder why water is blue in lakes or oceans, but clear when you pour it in a glass? Can you answer this question? What color is water? In order to answer this question, we first have to understand how light works. Light is made up of a spectrum of colors. Some colors are high energy and some are low energy. Low energy light is red, orange, and yellow, while high energy light is green, blue, indigo, and violet. Water molecules are great at absorbing low energy light. Since water absorbs all the red, orange, and yellow parts of the spectrum, the human eye sees the water as blue. So water is blue then? Well, yes and no. It's all about how much water you're looking at. In large enough quantities, like a swimming pool or a lake, there are more water molecules to absorb the red, orange, yellow, and green parts of light, so what we end up seeing is blue. When water is in a glass, there's just not enough of it to absorb any of the low energy parts of the spectrum. Instead, the light passes through the glass of water, making it appear clear. Let's try an experiment to show you how it works. See this large glass tube? We filled it up with water. From the sides, it looks clear. We see no hint of blue inside the tube, much like our glass of water. Now let's take a look from the top. Sure, it's not as blue as we see in our lakes, but there's a definite color change. The water looks blue compared to before. When we look at the tube from the top, the depth gives us more water molecules for the light to pass through, and therefore more chances for red, yellow, and orange light to be absorbed, leaving the blue behind. So water can be both clear and blue. But who uses these properties of water and light? An ocean photographer who takes pictures underwater needs to know how light works. As the photographer goes deeper into the ocean's depths, the reds, oranges, yellows, and greens don't show up. So powerful flashes of light from his camera help to capture those gorgeous underwater colors. But what about the other colors water can be? Let us know some of the craziest colors of water you've seen in the comments below. And check out wonderwill.ca's blog to find out more about the science behind the color of water. Until next time, stay curious!